50 years ago at the 1970 U.S. Open, Roland Garros singles champion Nancy Ritchie was growing increasingly frustrated with the lack of prize money for women's tennis players. Along with Billie Jean King and Rosie Casals, she took matters into her own hands as one of the founding members of the Virginia Slim Circuit. I was talking with my dad and he said, well, why don't you and Billie and, and Rosie get Gladys and, and talk to her and see if she can do something for y'all. So I went to Billy and, and said, look, why don't we get Gladys and have lunch with her or something and talk to her and see if she can help us with this. Gladys Heldman was owner and publisher of World Tennis Magazine, and she lived in New York and knew everybody, and we figured if anybody could help us, it would be Gladys. She was real good friends with uh, Joe Kuhlman, the CEO of Philip Morris. And so Gladys ended up getting a tournament within three weeks at the Houston Racquet Club with Virginia Slims. I mean, it was untenable with what, what was happening. And the men, they were wanting all the money at all the tournaments. And it was leaving us out in left field. And something needed to be done. Really, it started Women's Pro Tennis, what we did, and then it grew from there, and, and the Women's Tennis Association was formed about three or so years later, but this was the, the start of the Women's Pro Game.